In this tutorial, we are going to see how to integrate Hibernate and JPA with Spring Boot. So we know that the concept of uh, Hibernate that we can able to map uh, objects into a relation in the database. Likewise, uh, in Spring Boot, we have a concept of JPA. JPA allows us to map the relation between the objects and uh, we can store the objects into the tables with the help of Hibernate concept. So we know that uh, the data, data, database will have uh, the table, the table is otherwise called as relations and uh, Java, will uh, Java will have the objects uh, and what we can do is we can use the concept of Hibernate and JPA to store the data from objects into tables and vice versa. And this kind of mapping is called as ORM mapping and uh, ORM stands for object relationship or object relational mapping. So what we can do is uh, we will create some object in a Java file and we can convert or we can uh, map that Java object into a relation and we can do it in a vice versa. So what we are going to do is we are going to create some classes and uh, using that class we will do a mapping uh, concept and we will introduce something called entity and uh, we can create a primary key when we write a code and uh, that kind of stuff we will do so for that uh, what we, we are going to do is we are going to create uh, something called uh, student class and this student class will have the id as the primary key and uh, name that is the first name and the last name as the variables so what we are going to do is we are going to create a simple program uh, using the concept of uh, the spring boot and we are going to create object for the student and we are going to map that object into a database so for that database we are going to use uh, uh, in memory database called h2 so this h2 is a in memory database which can be used only for the testing purpose suppose if you want to create application for a very large or uh, very large application we can go for something called mysql and other other uh, database stuffs so for the demonstration purpose we are going to use uh, h2 so likewise we'll start the project uh, so we are going to start with file new project and we are going to use uh, spring initializer then select default then click on next and uh, so the group is com.xml no need to change anything so i'm going to change uh, the packing as var and uh, i'm going to click on next and i'm going to use uh, the uh, dev tools but not go i'm not going to use in the programming thing but uh, when you develop a project uh, we can select this package then in web i will be using selecting web in template en engine i will be using th theme leaf uh, for SQL, I will be using JPA that is Java Persistent API and for the database I can use H2. Uh, like I said, H2 is only for uh, uh, the testing purpose where we can go for MySQL or uh, Postgres SQL, SQL Server and so many things are there. So for the testing purpose, uh, in this tutorial I am going to use H2. So now uh, the dependencies have been selected. So this will be added in pom.xml. So I'm going to select next and the demo, the project name, I'm going to put it as uh, JPA demo. So I'm going to click on finish. So I'm going to disconnect the previous uh, services. So this will start uh, enable the auto import. Then uh, yeah. Now you can see in pom.xml everything is added like we know dev tools then h2 database and something called a string boot uh, starter tomcat etc so in the src we'll have a main in that main we have java then com.example.demo like that so i'm going to create a, a model so to represent that I am going to create a package called model so inside that model I am going to create something called uh, student class so yeah 
so now uh, what i'm going to do is uh, this is an ordinary class uh, the class name is student so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a id for student so private uh, long is the data type and id i'm going to give and i'm going to give uh, private f name for first name then uh, sorry private string string is the data type then i'm going to use private string uh, l name yeah so what i am going to do is i am going to introduce the concept of jpa so what uh, jpa will consider is is so this student is a class but in jpa we will call this as entity so using the annotation we can use entity so select that it will automatically include the package javax.persistence.entity and uh, what i am going to do is uh, i am going to store this uh, information in a database directly without creating any uh, queries for creating tables for that i am going to use this id as the primary key and other uh, f name or other attributes so if i want to specify this as the primary key i can use annotation called id so i can use the annotation called id and uh, this id is a persistence one sorry 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 yeah this id is a uh, again it's a uh, it it comes under the package import java x dot persistent dot id and uh, we know that uh, i'm going to uh, Uh, like uh, i am not going to get a pri uh, primary key value from the user and i am going to generate it tip generate uh, i like i am going to auto generate this so to auto generate that uh, there is something called uh, generated value annotation so it also comes under uh, java x dot persistence so i am going to use that so the next step is uh, once this is created uh, the next step is we have to create the constructor for this student so because uh, when you use constructor uh, jp a will be happy and it will create a background process for us so the main thing is i'm going to create a constructor so click on generate and you can have a option called constructor and i'm going to select the class and i'm going to generate so constructor is generated and um, for this uh, attributes i'm going to create a uh, setters and getters so right click there and uh, click on generate and you can see something called as getter and setter click on that select the attributes so i'm going to generate it for everything so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select uh, generate setter and uh, select everything then click on okay so now it will create uh, uh, getters and setters for all the things and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to um create a two string method uh, for this for this because uh, when i call this two string method it will retrieve everything from uh, uh, the methods like get f name get l name get id etc so generate and select two string method so select okay so now uh, everything is uh, ready and uh, so this is like a model uh, like Uh, we know that uh, we can create a student class with uh, id f name and l name as the attributes but when comes uh, when it comes under jpa what we can do is we can consider uh, student as the entity that is uh, it will consider this as the table S there is a student table and uh, we have a first attribute id and which is of type primary key and other uh, f name is the second attribute and the third uh, l name will be the third thing so when it creates a table it will create a table with a name student with a uh, three columns id f name and l name so we have created a model so now this jpa will uh, generate uh, uh, create a table for us so before creating a table what we have to do is we have to create a repository for that so to create a repository i'm going to create another uh, package called uh, repository 
so the main purpose of repository is to manage this kind of objects so we have created uh, uh, the content or, or we have created uh, the object of student so using this we are going to uh, add some content into the table or we can retrieve something and that is possible with the help of the repository so right click and select uh, so this repository is of inter interface type so i'm going to use uh, java class and i'm going to type for the name as student repository and i'm instead of selecting the class and i'm going to select the interface select ok and uh, by default this uh, repository uh, will extends something called uh, jpa repository and uh, in this repository we have to give uh, two thing one is uh, the uh, uh, the the name of uh, the repository this student repository is belongs to the class student so we have to give student here to give student here and this student will have uh, this student will have something called a primary key id and what we have to give the second parameter is we have to give the data type for that id so the data type is long that's it so what we did is we have just created a repository but uh, what uh, we can do with the help of repositories uh, uh, when we when we do like uh, so when we when we click on this uh, JPA repository it will go to the JPA repository class where we can do all stuffs like uh, save uh, find all everything so we can see find all here so similarly uh, this JPA repository extends uh, something called paging and sorting repository or query by example executor everything so if you want to explore more thing now uh, what we can do is press control and click on this classes you can explore this yeah so i have clicked the paging and sorting repository that extends uh, something called crude repository where uh, crude stands for create uh, read update and delete and uh, again i am going to explore this now you can see another uh, some other uh, uh, methods like save and everything so we using this JPA repository we can do uh, this such kind of stuffs and um, so we have just created the entity and uh, we have created the repository for entity and uh, we have not added any data into it so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, uh, we are going to create a, a model or we are going to create a table in a uh, h2 database for that uh, in h2 database uh, uh, we can directly uh, we can directly first we can run this so first uh, uh, just run this So it's starting the Spring Boot. Yeah. So now we'll, we'll explore localhost colon 8080. Yeah, it's thing. And to view this uh, H2 in memory database, what we can do is uh, there is an option called uh, application.properties. In this application.properties, pro we can type uh, Spring dot h2 dot console dot enabled equal to true if we said that uh, we can view that with the help of this thing like h2 console and this will open the h2 console for us and you make sure that uh, this jdbc url it will be like jdbc colon h2 colon mem colon test db and username is sa and password i'm not going to give anything so just uh, click on test connection and click on create 
so what happen is it will create a, a table for us so if i just select run it will create id f name and l name for us so id is a primary key and uh, other thing or other attributes so what what we can do is we can insert the content uh, uh, into the student uh like uh, i'm going to insert uh, some primary key as uh, like 1 2 3 and f name as some name and l name as some name so what we can do is we can uh, create a, uh we can create a script he here so what what i can do is i can right click on resources and select new file and type uh, data.sql so this data.sql is a script file which enable us to uh, insert some content so the command is insert into the table name is student followed by values so i'm going to insert some content 1 2 3 is my um, uh, id which is a primary key and followed by some name for example first name is arul and the second one is second last name is suju and uh, we'll just we'll just check this so when you do this uh, when you execute this uh, demo application it automatically calls this data.sql and it will insert but in real time they won't use this data.sql instead uh, they will use something called as uh, services so with the help of services they will store everything into a table and that we will see in the next tutorial so just i'm going to run this so run demo.application starting oh there is some problem there is some problem everything seems to be correct insert into student values an error um, yeah so instead of single quote uh, put double quote I think uh, this is the problem so we'll just check uh, save it so open demo application right click and run the demo application yeah now it's fine so now i'm going to do that so slash h2 console click on test connection connect now if i click on the student click on run yeah so the id is added uh, f name is added and l name is added so in this tutorial we have seen how to create the entity and how to create a primary key with the help of id and generated value and how to create a repository for uh, the entity and uh, how to create a script so that when it when it executes it automatically insert the content into the table like i said uh, this h2 database is only for the demo purpose or testing purpose uh, we should not use this h2 database for a very large application and uh, in the next videos we will we will see how to insert 
this content in the program itself what we'll do is we'll create a service using that service we'll insert this kind of content into the table automatically and that's it thank you for watching and please subscribe to this video